A road trip to Moab with your wheeling buddies is as good as it gets. And during Easter Jeep Safari, the town is full of familiar faces and opportunities to put your Jeep to the test. It would end up being one of the best weeks of my life, but we almost didn't even make it out of town. There he is! He, he, oh, oh well, that, that was weak. We, no explosion? Whoa! <laughs> you gotta have an explosion. Best Jeeps that everybody, anybody could ever have. This Jeep, your Jeep and my Jeep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're a whole pack of two. Getting ready to go to Moab. Oh, what's going on in Moab? Showing the Easter Safari. So I've been struggling for a while with sag in the rear on the springs because of the weight that we have on the back. So I think this is our third different set of springs we're trying. This time we've got uh, Dodson's. DJ, remember? No. Stop there. We're starting to pull. Look at that flex. That's crazy. How, how is this possible? That. So that's probably also what's causing uh, it. You might want to, yeah, pull that green yeah. part over here. Lay out a rag and this is going to come up. So, so the situation is first. it's 10 to 5 the <laughs> night before we leave for Easter Jeep Safari. And uh, the wheel hub's making a grinding noise when it turns. So we're disassembling it. Okay, so you got a, this is the snap ring you grab here. Yeah. Then the two pieces will come off. There she goes. Oh, mm, yummy. That's spares in the back of the truck, right? Spare. Whatever it is, it's broken. Oh, yeah, of course. Perfect. Okay. Using the. Whoa! Oh. There it is. Well, that's ugly grease. The grease is brown, Sean. Somebody. In your hub. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> we might. What's the chance of these being a typical bearing from something? Oh. We could just grab it from Lorco. How bad is it inside? Uh, like you went to Taco Bell for dinner. Oh, shit. no, literally, that's shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean shit in the hub. Wow. Mmm, mm, tasty. So, oh yeah, look. Well messed up. So. Where do we get that bearing? We need a bearing, we need a race. So, uh, gotta go to Lorgo. Hope okay. they have a bearing. Not destroying it. And that's why it was hitting the, um, the speed sensor. Yeah. Because this is the bearing it's shot and it's, it's vibrating and shaking. It's identical. So basically what happened is, you're on the back like the side lock of, your, is identical here, to of your hub. It just got filled up with like dirt and mud, and it just it grinds away on the seal. Yeah. And now over time, once that, that seal gets ground down enough, and it slowly works its way inside to the bearing between the mud and water and whatever else, and then the yeah, snow well, wheeling, yeah, the back, all that the snow impacting it in here as well, all that water's being pushed inside, so and it just eventually it corroded and killed it. Because the ABS sensor cool. was unhappy. Well, it's a good thing you didn't drive down to. Yeah. Yeah, that would have. It would have blown, blown up on you for sure. Yeah, yeah, that, that would have totally just, yeah. cooked, cooked on the way down. So we well, went down to like the parts store. One, see, looks like I grabbed the right one. Yeah, yeah. we were able to find the bearings and the race, and uh, get everything we need to put it back together. Hopefully. Yes. So. Yep. Um, just saying, no, Sean. Yeah. You're gonna probably have to change the spindle when you get back, because that's the seal race on here. And it's screw. Yeah, what I would do is I would, well that, or I would take it to a rear end shop and have them go through it properly. Cause I'm, if this is looking like this, what's this one looking like in here, right? Just want to make sure that that seal's good in there. Yeah. As well. Okay, lick your fingers now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It tastes like cherry, I promise. I promise, it's cherry. It's time to go home. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. No I appreciate it. No Good morning, Curtis. Good morning. We made it. We made it. We just got across the border. We are on our way to Moab. We got the Jeep fixed just in the nick of time last night. Got the parts, got it all set up. Uh, it's about 7 a.m., I'm assuming. And we're going to start making our way down to Idaho first to meet up with Will from Venture to Rome and then uh, take it from there. We 
are currently in, I think we're still in Oregon, uh, heading towards Idaho. We got about 163 miles to travel to get to Will's house. Weather's all over the place. Will's house. Let's see if he's here. Let's see. What's up, guys? What's up? Good to see you, man. Hey! hey. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, dude. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's the drive? It was uh, long. Yeah, it's good though. Yeah, good. Oh, you have to take your shoes off. Actually, Sean really does need to take his shoes off. <laughs> I'm just being nice, but but you but you can keep your shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> this is Curtis. Yeah, nice to meet you. Well, and then nice to meet you. I've heard uh, <laughs> heard really good things about you. So you're you're uh, hanging out with Sean on the whole trip, eh? Oh yeah. Cool. Is that better once we get to the house? It's time to head to Moab. It's uh, 7.30 a.m. Sun's coming up. Yeah, Will coming in the 392. He's grabbing some stuff inside. Epic just uh, lifted this, I think a couple of months ago. And then we have a Bronco Raptor here somewhere that's coming along too. Out right here. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Darth Vader's helmet here. Scoping out your Raptor. It looks good. Appreciate it. A couple weeks old. I might have to bug you to drive it up the street or something later. Oh, yeah. You guys, you guys ready yet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. They do. Here we I'm go. I'm stoked to see what it can do. Looks good. It's going to do awesome on the highway. There's like an exit where we could gas up and... Yeah, I definitely need fuel. Yeah, let's go. Let's just, <laughs> let's just swing by Albertsons. All right. All right. We can gas there too if we want to. Roger. All right. By the way, guys, this is Lance, the uh, driver of said Bronco Raptor. <laughs> He's going to be joining us to Moab. I don't really know how to do it right here pretty well. Too complicated for me, so if you want to just start on, on okay, fun 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just plug this in. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I've got dozens of dollars in here I need to protect. I keep hoping that the numbers will start going down. But they always just go up. Well, you know what they say. They've got to go down to go up. <laughs> gotta go left to go right. <laughs> just trying to save the environment. Expecting these conditions this morning when we got up. Coming down heavy again. Yeah, this is really unexpected. <laughs> it's, uh, I would, I would, I like, I generally love the snow. Uh, today I'd much prefer dry roads. So we just narrowly avoided a like multi vehicle collision in front of us. It's just uh, like this icy, wet snow falling really heavy and piling up on the road. And um, I'm not so much worried about the Jeep. It's fine, even though it's a little slippery. I'm more worried about other vehicles sliding into us. So we're just going real slow. I threw on some of my external uh, amber running lights to make myself more visible to the other guys. And uh, we're just gonna take it easy as we get through Salt Lake City here, heading down towards Moab. We still got about three and a half hours to go. 
but uh, hopefully once we get past uh, Salt Lake City and start descending a little bit, it'll, uh, it'll turn to rain or the sun will come back. Yeah, I was just thinking that go spray off tonight. Okay. Porch driveway entry. This place is pretty big. Yeah. Well, we might be spending some time out here. There's a grill. It's important. If you want to saute some vegetables. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Yeah. Original <laughs> seven slot. Grill. Good sign. Hell oh, yeah. Well, for luck. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got to the house in Moab. We're gonna have so much fun here. Right, uh, not too far from town. Check this out. We got cornhole. It's going down. Cornhole, air hockey. We've got uh, table soccer. We've got board games. And if we get tired of that, we've got Jeeps. What's going on? We got salt all over the Jeeps. We gotta rinse them off so that uh, salt doesn't destroy them overnight because that's what salt does. I think we have 100% Jeeps here <laughs> except for one Bronco. That's kind of the story of the whole town. One Bronco? Sorry, he's <laughs> here. Bronco guy he's here. He's, he's here with us, it's okay. <laughs> Jeep's looking good? Oh yeah, somewhat. Yeah, <laughs> somewhat. Had a rough couple of days. Three days to make it to 2.5 miles. That sounds like a blast. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Hot. Yeah. Just driving over to Canada. Yeah, two days straight, so pretty white, but we're going to go grab some food somewhere or something. Yeah, same. Yeah, we just wanted to get this thing cleaned up and then drive a beer and grab some food somewhere. Hello. Sweet. All right, it's day three of Easter Jeep Safari. We are currently headed to meet up with the Sherpa equipment guys. Yeah, it's actually like, it's got more space than the factory in. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's way more space. Yeah, because the, the 36 really fits in there tight, right? That's like probably 15% more if you take out those two, which is awesome. It's built to be uh, go anywhere, do anything, and live out of it kind of rig. We've got the Sherpa rack up here on the front, which we use to mount our Starlink flat mount kit on for internet access when we're traveling remotely and need to upload videos or keep in contact with family. And it uh, does that job really awesome. gone before or we can venture on and you can go out to the highway there's just some dirt roads to get back to the highway out this way so okay it's up to you I think we need to probably go back
All right, we just got off the trail. We went out with the Sherpa equipment guys and just hit a few obstacles, did a little photo shoot. That was fun. And then on the way out, we ran into the America's Most Wanted 4x4 team. We got to meet those guys. Uh, we've talked online before, but it was my first time meeting them in person. So that was cool. They had some wicked uh, Hemi rigs out, did some photos together with the rigs. Now we're going to head over to the Metal Cloak CTI trailer, meet up with Will again, probably put the truck on the CTI ramp and uh, check out some flex scores. Hey dude, how was your photo shoot? Oh, long time no see. Oh, that was good. Did yeah. Lance leave? We passed him? Yeah, 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 he had to go. We uh, passed him, so I waved at him. He wanted to say bye to him. Yeah. He, he, he waved back with one finger. I was like, oh man, <laughs> we didn't say goodbye to Lance this morning. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, he, like, he was like, uh, as soon as you get home, we're gonna start planning next year's EJS. <laughs> uh, this is uh, the lady Heather. Hello, Sean, hey, nice to meet you. And Riley. Nice to meet you. big fan, she always watches your Oh, your well, thank you so much, I appreciate it. <laughs> we'll wake up some mornings so and we can just like hear it in the background. Yep. Awesome. Before you go into the CTI trailer, you have to fill out a bunch of information here. So you have to tell them what your social security number is, uh, the names of your kids, your mother's maiden name, um, and also uh, your home address. And I think that helps them kind of dial into how to better adjust your suspension. So that's what I'm doing right now. So Sean told me that he was gonna kick your butt on this thing. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I don't know. We both have the same suspension, I think, or close to it. He's got a, no, nah, there's no way, dude. I'm, I'm gonna have more flex than him. He's got bigger tires, but I got more flex. I guarantee it. This is the Venture to Rome guarantee. Will told me he's gonna kick your butt on this thing. What? Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, we're gonna do a little flex comparison. We got the stepchild here. We got the trail destroyer. We got Will's 392. Comment your predictions of who you think is gonna win before you see the results. It's probably not gonna be me. Let's find out. Okay. What is, what's your prediction? They've got a pretty custom build on that. I think it's gonna flex pretty well. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, it's got a good lift, coilovers. Yeah, it'll flex pretty well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's pretty good. You can like walk under it. I know. <laughs> yeah, I see the sway bar just barely touches the inner fender. Yeah. And there's nothing I can do if I go any further when it's fully drooped. They're almost inverted. So it just is what it is. Oh, is it hitting? Yeah, it's just, just clipping that bracket. Oh yeah, it's got to rotate just a tiny bit. Do you think we're going to win? Well, I think there's competition happening between you and I. I think if we were competing against Lightbright, we'd be... Between uh, you and I might actually be interesting. Yeah. You think you're going to beat us? I don't think so. <laughs> I'd like to dream, but uh, no, I think you got this one in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Those coilovers are insane. Yeah. It's like in racing. Every tenth costs you $10,000 under like 10 seconds. <laughs> Every tenth. You want to go 9-8? It's $20,000. You want to go 9-6? I'm going to keep track of our scores this year. Uh, we'll compare again next year. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh, it's cool. You don't know the hair's there, and you're just like... <laughs> this is the new style. This is the new dude. Yeah, you'll got Kramer, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole point. 2020's Kramer now. Nice, right on. Bringing Kramer bring yeah. back. <laughs> Jerry. <Yeah. laughs> See? We got um, pretty short springs because we put really heavy duty springs in because it was sagging. So there's uh, spacers in there and oh, I love it. I'll stick this on the Jeep. Nice. And with the speed bumps, sometimes, you know, the speed bumps are made to take a huge impact really hard. Yeah. So sometimes just the weight of the vehicle won't fully compress that speed. Right. So you still got about that much left in there, mm -hmm. but you're in the tire. There's that. So it's about right. It's about right. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't start chasing that little bit. So you say this is like a reasonable, uh, like this is, that's not limiting my score is what you're saying. No, 
No, I mean, to, to fit that size tire, to fit a 40 in a standard wheel well without a whole bunch of cut and modifications, yeah. that's actually really, really good. Nice. Um, and the way the suspension's set up right now, you're on the speed bump, it's hitting the fender, like, I, I just wouldn't change any of that. What's that? What Score. Uh, 800. 800? That's yeah. not bad. It's pretty good. Like, it's. That's he, he, good. he said this is pretty much set up as, like, as good as you could get. For, for this truck. For what it is. Yeah, back. You're crying a little bit. It's know. the wind, it's the I wind. <laughs> it's not because of the score. <laughs> I can't pay 800. I'm going to let Sean buy me a little. I don't know, I think you got a solid $7.99. <laughs> okay, here we go, moment of truth. Oh! Hey, you, whoever guesses right gets a, gets a free t-shirt and everybody's gonna just literally, <laughs> you can't do that. All right. like, this is the CTI reveal. There you go. CTI reveal, guess the scores in the comments. Who do you think won? What do you think the score is? All right. And the you, max, he said that max is out at 1360. 1360 okay. is the is, max score. Who's going to reveal first? Or do we do it at the same time? Let's do it at the same time. Same okay. time? Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Who guessed it? Who guessed right? Yeah, I think we're standing in the right order there. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's yeah. all right. Awesome. That was fun. <laughs> I've, had, I've had a few years on you. Yeah, yeah. I think I've had a few We're, years. We'll have a rematch next year. There you go. All right. Hey, I mean, mine's hey, not. I'm Will, by the way. How you doing, Kevin? Nice to meet you. What are you, what are you going down to? Uh, okay. I'm already here down. I'm like 16. Okay. All right. I'm probably going to take it. So is this 392 like a special edition? Or? What do you mean? Well, you got like some special badging. And <laughs> Get out of here. Who deckled my who deckled my car? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> I feel like we're going on a ride at Disneyland right now. Yeah, this is the the ride the the thing to the top of the roller coaster, you know? Don't forget to disconnect that sway bar. Keep a reminder. human reaction is to have a little bit of uh, anxiety. Yeah, you uh, get used to it after the first few yeah. climbs, you're like, yeah. oh yeah. This is and and this stuff is like Velcro, yeah. you know, like that's a, I can, tr you can start yeah, to trust like, this stuff. Like, oh, my hand's stuck to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the exact things when you're going up super steep, you throw your head back and you just look at the sky. Yeah. Yeah. 
Definitely. Well, let's uh, continue launching. Let's do it. I mean, it doesn't look like it's not intimidating. I mean, it looks, I might have a wet seat by the end of this, but I'm gonna give it a go. Yeah, you are. I gotta do it. You gotta, gotta do, do it. it. Was oh, that too close? You can like see the no, no, my nose here. No, that's fine, that's perfect. Yeah, the I mean, is how I like spot it. You. Yeah, who's gonna spot me? That's the biggest question. But I'm committed, <laughs> I'll do it. I want you to spot me. <laughs> I don't know. Keep it high. You gotta, once you get over here, you gotta turn to the left and it's hard to see upwards, so. up on three wheels on my Bronco and I almost flipped back. So hopefully this time it goes better in the no. oh. okay. I think I think it looks like these two guys who have just went know what they're doing. One guy was in a buggy and was just showing off. The other guy went about 40 miles an hour. I like to see somebody like in my zone of experience come up before I take the line. Well, it'll probably be me. Yeah okay I'm okay with that. We'll just hang out for a bit. I'll be happy to have done it again and feel get my confidence back on this obstacle. Because <laughs> usually the that truck does anything, like yeah. nothing. was the hardest way down to the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Hell's Gate. You're brave riding passenger. Don't say that.
Sean Hagen. Maybe I did a selfie. I think I did a selfie. Did you guys yeah. see that? Well, no, we, we saw this one. We, oh, we, we just got here exactly right when you were coming up. I slipped like. Did you? Your video footage is awesome. Thank you. Yeah. We live in North Idaho. We saw one that you were up there. Do you need a crash course on this? Yeah. Whatever it says Broncos. Okay. Yeah, we went to the Idaho Panhandle. And then we were up by Cornwall. So close to Canada. Close to you, but not that close. I was hoping. It was nerve wracking. It was almost like an out of body experience because uh, it's actually not that difficult to drive as long as you have the right line. And so I was fixated on this little teeny tiny hand, finger Mike's doing finger. this. Mike's finger With doing two this. Phones in hand. <laughs> <laughs> but like it was a great line and um, I just, I got like two thirds of the way up and I thought, oh my God, I'm actually going to do this. Yeah. It's great. So I, yeah, it feels awesome. Yeah, thanks man. to see you. I'm still coming down off of it. Yeah, yeah. me too. That's a yeah. hike up the hill. <laughs> yeah, harsh town. <laughs> I was at the top and Curtis like, I'm going to run down and get a shot. I was like, you mean you're going to like jump off the cliff? Yeah, that's what it looked like. Curtis just like disappeared. <laughs> that is what it looked like. Is he okay? It was crazy. I was like, if you can drive down it, I can walk down it. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I can't imagine doing that without a trail cam. Because I can at least see those little I diamonds. Can. Yeah, right. Exactly. You just kind of have to trust that you're going to be okay. <laughs> All right, guys. We just got off of Hell's Revenge. And uh, it was a good afternoon out there. Sun's just going down. Dude, I, it was so much fun. This is a trail that's like, follow the line, hold on to the steering wheel, and make your peace with God. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> stay it was stay awesome. Stay in the black. Just stay in the black, yeah. So eloquently put. <laughs> yeah, you guys did great. I mean, coming up, uh, the technical part out there. And, uh, heaven's, not Heaven's Gate, for sure. The stair, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah it, wasn't, mean, it definitely wasn't Heaven's Gate. Been a long no, day. it was not Heaven's Gate. Was, Someone like, called it that. I don't know, like, no, Devil's that's Staircase. No, that's not the one. Yeah, <laughs> Devil's Gate. Wow. Dude, you crushed it. Hell's, Hell's Gate? Oh, yeah. crushed it. How awesome was that, though? So Just good. To get to do it today, man, I feel like, I feel so excited that I did it now. Yeah. yeah. Without hesitation. So, I'm, so. I'm, I still feel now I need another revenge on it because I kind of slid off a little uh, bit. Yeah. But uh, I'm still happy that I got the I got the, the gladiator up there. It made it interesting. So, sure did. Yeah. All right. We still got a couple more days of EJS to go. Oh, man. What's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen? <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Press like. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Good job, guys. Yeah, dude. Thanks for coming, Thanks for coming with, us, out with us. Yeah. And like, thanks for, just, thanks for being awesome. Yeah. Oh, come no. By, come okay. by and see us out at the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll come by tomorrow.